created live on Fireside. So can I tell a little bit, can I tell the, a little the story yesterday? Okay. So, and it's Miko, right? So Miko Smith, Lance Smith's wife. So we met yesterday at the Hall of Fame Health event. And Miko said, I'm not coming on the podcast. I said, oh, but you are. And she said, no, I'm not. We ended up talking for like 20 minutes. And she goes, oh, I think I can do that. I goes, it's very comfortable. <laughs> we have conversations. You're going to tell us about a little bit about who you are. And it's just, it's going to be great. And you were like, all right, I can do this. So I'm going to tell you, you're going to get close to your microphone. Okay. And you're going to talk loud. And we're going to just just talk. So I'm introduce ready. yourself a little bit about, um, like, why are you here and what this event means to you. Okay. So, my name is Miko Smith, and um, like Julia stated, I am the wife of the former um, NFL player, Lance Smith, and I am a member of Off the Field, as well as The Thread. Yes. And so, I love, 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 love this sisterhood that we have. It's unstoppable. I just feel like we have such a great community of support and love for one another, and... You know, with, with all the support and love that we have for one another, we also share that love and support for others. So we're always, mm -hmm. you know, giving back to, to the community. You guys are. So I, I just love, love, love when I can love on others and then see how, you know, that resonates with the community on how much we love each other. And when you can love yourself, then you can definitely love others. Right. And, you know, and we talked <laughs> about this a, bit, a little bit yesterday is that one of the things about this community that I, I, I think is so important and it's not always talked about and people don't see it is what service hearts all of you have. And it really, you know, we, we did talk about and touched on this. You know, my uh, listeners know that I believe in God, but whether you believe in God or universe, I do believe he puts people together. Absolutely. And you guys are at a platform where you're able to help more and use that service heart that's so important to you. And you can feel it at every event that you're in. You can feel it. And it's so important. So... I just, um, I, I thank you for what you do, and I'm thank gonna you. Think it's, it's amazing. Thank you. Yes, I love it. I love it. I do. I, I think it's a great platform, you know, um, because so many people are not aware of this community. Right. You know, um, you, you, you see the players out on Sundays, and you never know that they're strong women behind right. those men that are pushing them to go out and do what they do <laughs> each week. Right. <laughs> and be the support when they come home. If Absolutely. they've had a bad game, they have an injury, you guys are there Absolutely. and you're all the moves, picking up and like, I got this, hon. You go play your game because I have the house. Whether you have kids or not, it fascinates me to like the core because, you know, my, again, I'm a mom, but the level that you guys have to do it is so impressive in my mind. And again, it's not talked about. It's not really talked and celebrated about how much you guys juggle and what it's like. And the hard times, you know, everyone goes through hard times. And so it's important to like, you know, be like, everyone's human. I just moved. I just, my husband got traded. I'm trying to find a dentist. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> just need a dentist. Um, when I moved, that was like the one thing I was like, so many people were like, use this one, use this. And I could not find one that had an appointment, you know? So it's those things that we don't think about. So thank you for just, you know, talking about it and shedding light and being here live on Fireside with Lioness Lev. Thank NFL you. Thread. Thank you so much, Miko. And as I said, we're going to have Miko on for the longer version. She's going <laughs> to jump in and tell more because now, right? You like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, I told her, I said, you're going to get on and you're going to love this. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you. I so appreciate it. It's good, good, good. I, it was good for me. Thank yes. you. But then we're going to dive in seriously about like what you also do in your life. Okay. You know, like I would love for you to touch that, you know, not only do you do chair, you know, stuff for the NFL, yes. but what do you do outside? Okay. So I actually have been um, with a company for 33 years and um, I'm excited to say... <laughs> <laughs> that in 22 months, I plan on retiring. No. <laughs> yes, right. No, we talked but about this last night. I, I, you know, and so also, I just actually um, submitted a patent for a design sheet that I've created. Ooh, oh, <laughs> we, we got to get into this. And we're not going to do it here today because you guys right. are going to come back because that's amazing. <laughs> that I that I get so fascinated with like people that invent stuff. So, so. I'm trying to have that hat that wear that hat of inventor. Oh yeah, and I, we got it because I have a lot of inventors that have been on 
the podcast. I gotta. I, we got. We gotta talk okay. on the side. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> that you didn't tell me this last night. I didn't want to. I was holding on to it. <laughs> you were. Oh you my have gosh, to hold some that. things. To hold no, some things totally. back. <laughs> That's exciting. But so, so. And so you said you're gonna be. So you're gonna be diving into that. So again, we are gonna bring Miko back okay. because this is exciting, and I can't wait. To dive, because it's so important, all those steps that you have to do that people don't know what you have to do to get a patent. And when you have something that you want to invent, so it's quite a good. bit. Yes, yes. I've had a great team uh, that has surrounded me and helping me through this journey. Right. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> you, we, we will be have, again having you back. So thank you again thank for you. joining YNS Live with NFL Thank Fair. you. are live on Fireside. Thank you so much. Rico. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> you so, too. Again, I wanted to thank our sponsors shutterstock you call the shots with live assignments ubs angela brown legacy builder group thank you thank you so much for sponsoring this wonderful event here yns live with nfl thread for me it was really emotional because i had all my babies here in arizona when my husband played the cardinals and then so for me to have a playbook come out today it's really just awesome to see and to have franco harris growing up in pittsburgh to have Franco Harris in, in the playbook and on the cover, but most importantly, his words to current players, to former players, about life after the game. Um, he was like, you know, Cindy, I was unloading boxes out of my car, and a couple guys walked by and said, um, hey, that's uh, Franco Harris right there. I said, man, that's not Franco Harris. Franco Harris wouldn't be unloading boxes out of his car, you know, to deliver. And he was like, no, it was me. And I was unpacking boxes. At the time, he was doing super donuts and muffins and for the schools, all protein donuts. And um, he's like, no, it's me. And this is what you do when you start a business. You unpack your own boxes. You go to work. And I feel like so many current players, they're afraid to start at that beginning because there's this perception out there that you can't do that or that you shouldn't be doing that. Or if you are doing that, you did something wrong. So the playbook this year is so many transparent stories about players and their spouses in dealing with transition. My own husband, I finally got him to take part in a project that I was doing years ago. His only quote was, I don't want to be in your book. <laughs> I finally got him to do it, but we argued the entire time because it was a battle because he didn't really want to open up. But I, I forced him to because I thought it was healthy and I thought it was important and I thought it was important to our own boys who go through their own transitions in life. And um, so that's why I really hope that you guys enjoy it. And I, I hope you guys enjoy it today because today is about the same thing. Why are you here at the Super Bowl? What are you doing at the Super Bowl? What are you doing that you should be talking about on the podcast or to each other? Because I think we need to support each other in everything that we do. And for me, Thread gives me the opportunity to have people like Carla Lines here from the NFL Legends, from NFL Player Engagement, my off the field, I mean, I just love off the field. I'm the vice president of off the field. I'm a behind the scenes girl because I, I am like, I, I, I'm just that person, but I love everything that we do. And I feel blessed every time I'm on a board call and I'm with everybody and supporting off the field. And if you're not on off the field, that's the whole purpose of today. Get, get in off the field, become a member, because we do things like NFL Connect, Thread Connects, off the field players, NFL Wives Association does. We do amazing things. So I'm going to just stop talking now, and I'm handing over to my co-host of the podcast, YNS Live, who was my my kid's babysitter <laughs> back in Philadelphia, who then one day asked me to be on her podcast. And I was like, sure. And I was like, geez, I can not only write about these stories, and I can not only get them together, but we can share their stories out on this podcast. So Juliet, fine. Thank you so much, guys. I'm so happy to be back for the second year, YNS Live and NFL Thread. As Cynthia said, it's about the stories. Stories connect people. When you hear someone's story, you either like them a little bit more or maybe think, okay, that's not my person, right? But you still connect in a deeper way. You still understand someone a little bit more. And sometimes that is all we need is to understand people, what they go through. And so having you guys on the podcast, sharing your stories is going to give people a deeper connection to what we do. So thank you so much. Again, do not forget to come over. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, I don't think I can. Yes, you can. You can go over. It's just like a conversation. I'm very comfortable. I do not fight. And we will have a great conversation. I'm going to hand it over to Sarah. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you for being here. Yay. Uh, thank you, Juliet. Um, and Cindy, this is part of my voice with you guys. Each year is more amazing than the first time. So thank you for having us. 
Um, as I mentioned, I'm Eric Glasser. I'm the widow of Kwame Glasser. Um, this is our home, Arizona. So to all my home girls that I see here from AZ, Yay. Yay. Um, I do want to, we're going to, actually and I are going to talk about the fashion show here in a little bit, but I do want to recognize our board members and Ashley as our co-founder of Rock the Video. So she's the reason why, Ramon's reason why, and Sharice, who just walked the door, come on over here, y'all, uh, are the reason why this organization is formed so that we can all be here together. So um, these are our co-founders, Sharice Brown, Ramon more board members in the room today. I saw Seanette, she's over off to the side. So we have Tamela Wilson, Tamiko uh, McKenzie, and here is Seanette. So I'll turn this over to Ashley so she can talk a little bit about why we are here in Arizona this weekend. Well, we live here right now. <laughs> Well, hello, Scottsdale. Hi, everyone. I'm Ashley Brown, um, wife of uh, 20 year NFL veteran Ray Brown, um, who's off doing uh, something for the NFLPA right now. Uh, painting with the pros, yes. So, um, thank you guys for all being here today. Uh, we have a little event tomorrow really small event that's going to be right out the door here, which is the hottest ticket right now. Yes. Uh, so if any of you guys are, you know, think you're going to leave town or not coming, holler at me, let's go buy your ticket back. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, thank you for being here, and um, we're delighted to hopefully see all your faces tomorrow uh, at our sold out 22nd uh, annual charity fashion show. Proceeds are going to uh, the Kara Sports Foundation, so we're, we're excited about that. So, welcome back to Why in This Live with NFL Thread here, live on Fireside, live in Arizona at Ocean 44. You guys can recall, we had Mark and Adrian on, McMillan on the podcast just recently. Mm -hmm. And Mark said at the end, there's something else, but I can't talk about it. <laughs> and literally, like two days later, you announced that you are in the next, what is it, it's next. The next top, Level Chef. Next, yeah, right. Next and Level Chef. With Next Level Chef with Gordon Ramsay, which is so awesome. Yeah. So I remember when I saw that go out on social media, I was like, <laughs> that's what he's talking about. That is what he's talking yeah. about. So, inter formal eagle, I got the green. I, I, got I the like green. that, you, I like you that. You actually put it on, you I, I like that, it. I, I know. like that. <laughs> so also, Emmy winner, big man, little man. Yep. You guys can go check out the, the show that we had on this awesome couple. Mm -hmm. But tell us how you got involved in this next level shot. Uh, it, it, was, it was crazy how it happened. It started in February. Uh, okay. You know, I got a message uh, saying, hey, are you Mark McMillan? And I'm <laughs> thinking like, everybody knows who I am. You know, right. if you just Google me, you see my face. And the guy just kept being persistent with it. Mm. And he said, well, how would you like to appear on Next Level Chef uh, featuring Gordon Ramsay? I'm like, I just barbecue in the backyard. <laughs> like, there's world-class chefs <laughs> right. that be on this show. Like, what am I going to do yeah. on this show? So, you know, the interview process went great. Um, I had to work on my plating skills, had to brush up on my menu, because I was just doing barbecue. Right. So I had to start transitioning to different dishes, uh, using different sauces. Uh, I so, love that. And then they said, hey, you know, you made the final cut. I think it was like 15,000 applicants that applied That's for amazing. this show. Were you guys, and, were you, I know, Adrian's back here, and I'm like, were you guys, <laughs> were you freaking out? I think I was more freaked out than she was. Right. She knows I love Gar Gordon Ramsay. I right. love watching the show. Um, but just being able to be one of 15,000 right. and, huge. you know, they flew 20, uh, 20, I think it was 22 or 24 people down to London right. and only 18 was only allowed to uh, make the show. So out of those 24, yeah. they sent some people home before right. the show even started. started. So I made the cut, you know, the, I yeah. got the knock on the door. I was nervous. I thought I was going to get cut. Right. But I made the cut and well, but I mean, I, I think one of the things is, and anyone that has followed you knows you. I mean, you got a big personality, so a you're gonna, bit. <laughs> you're you're going to make for a fun TV. And the fact that you can do what they want, you know, the cooking and all that yeah. stuff, that just is going to make it really fun. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm I'm excited for people yeah. to watch it. The people that know me knows I'm exciting. Uh, once the camera goes on, I seem to light up. Yeah. Uh, and then it's against Gordon Ramsay. I'm on Gordon Ramsay's team yeah. with. Four other amazing chefs, um, you know, Chef Naisha, Chef Blaze. Uh, they have teams as well. So it is 18 
chefs from so all over cool. the country that are competing for the prize. I think it's two hundred and forty or two hundred fifty thousand dollars goes to the winner. So we're excited That's about amazing. that. Yeah, and it's airing. After the Super Bowl. It is airing primetime on Fox yes. right after the Super Bowl and the perfect storm. Right. My Eagles you're, you're right. and my Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. <laughs> and I mean, and obviously, you know, Mark knows what happens, but I kind of have a feeling that maybe like <laughs> you're going to be up there. I, I think that you're going to be it's, in there. It's going to so. be exciting. Uh, I will I'm say so I, I'm not the first one to go home, you know, so yeah. that was my whole thing is like, don't be the first guy. <laughs> right, and then right, right. you'll never be on TV again. Right, so right, right. I was like, just continue to learn. Obviously, Gordon's a great mentor. Mm. Uh, being in the kitchen with he's he's Gordon Ramsay, right. you know, being in the kitchen and have, having him go through your dish was was like so cool to me. Yeah, no, that's so cool. I mean, I, we, I you know, we've we talked about, I, he's such a great personality. Yeah. And the shows that he puts out are really entertaining. Amazing. And, and fun. And you're like, you really get involved in the people that are in it. So they really go through and look at the personalities, yeah. look who's going to mesh together, look who's going to cause a little drama, you know, all yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. But that's so awesome that, that yeah, you have I'm, that opportunity. I'm so, like I said, it, there was two other mentors, like I said, but being on, once we found out, you know, Gordon Ramsay standing in front of us was like, does that mean he's going to be picking us? Because last year was a draft. Right. So they picked who they want to be. So this time they put us in groups and then our mentors were actually standing in front of our groups, but we had no clue. We didn't know anything. Right. And then Gordon said, hey, this is my team. This is who I'm going to win with. And our whole, my team would look at each other like, what? what? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so cool. Well, tell people where they can follow you on the socials. And, and again, tune into Fox primetime after the Super Bowl. We got we to watch what's happening. Oh, my God. Tune into Fox right after the Super Bowl, February 12th, Season 2, Next Level Chef. I'll be on Team Ramsey going against Chef Blaze, Chef Aisha right after the Super Bowl. Eagles and Chiefs played in Philadelphia, played in Kansas City. A lot of people want to know who I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for Team Ramsey on Next Level Chef. <laughs> that was smart. That was really smart. Smart. So, again, thank you so much for joining YNS Live with NFL Thread here thank live you. on Fireside. Thank you. She's awesome. Make sure you continue to tune in to her show. She kills it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to text you and be like, oh, my God, you're doing such a great. It's going to be so fun. All right. Thank so you yeah, very thank much. Thank you so much. John. So good. Come on.